All right, guys. So today I have the Witch Baby October Moon bath bomb. And honestly, I wasn't even going to film this. This is just the bath bomb that I really felt like doing today. It is early. It's not even October yet. But um, this is just really the one that I wanted to do. And I'm not even sure of the scent description. So I'm really just going to record it. And I think it's probably going to be really pretty. It smells so heavenly. I know it's got cinnamon in it. It's very fall-like. So I just want to see what it looks like and I just want to bathe in it and appreciate it and I wanted to film it for you guys too so this might not be up to par for my regular demos but um let's just go ahead and pop it in and see what it looks like I wasn't going to record it, but then I thought, you know what, if I don't, I'm going to regret it because I think it's going to be really, really pretty. It just looks kind of brown in the wrapper. Come back, come back. It looks kind of brown in the wrapper, but then when I unwrapped it, I could tell that it had some different colors in it. Wow, that watercolor is gorgeous. Let's see if I can get back a little further. I mean, that's really pretty close up. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. I just really, really needed a fall scent. It's gotten really, really cool because the hurricane's coming in, Irma's coming in. Not near where I live, but it just is kind of residual, a residual front is kind of coming over. So, what a cool pattern. So, it kind of feels more like fall today. And I just, I don't feel super good. So, I don't know. Bright and fruity scents just don't fit my my um, my mood today or my physical state. I don't know. This is so pretty. Oh, there's my little crystal or stone just dropped down to the bottom of the tub. Ooh, I almost dropped my phone. This is so pretty. Now this is why I decided to yeah, go ahead and film it, or you'll be sorry. I don't usually hold these. I'm glad I'm holding this one. It's making some gorgeous, gorgeous bath art. I can't really look real good at this watercolor yet. So I'm really, really concentrating on trying to hold the phone and hold this bomb. Got a little bitty piece of it left in my hand. It kind of reminds me of a kaleidoscope. I just got the smallest little sliver in my hand and it's still, it's still giving out, ooh, okay. Still giving out some nice color. Okay, so this is a really, let's see. Oh, 
a little piece there still wanting to run off. Okay, let me, let me go ahead and check out this watercolor. Okay, so it's just a, it's a really dark berry. It's not a red. It's kind of like a burgundy. It's gorgeous. It's very, it's very opaque. It's picking up a lot lighter on my camera than it is in real life. It's gorgeous. That looks more like it right there. So, so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did this one today. Really, really gonna enjoy this one. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so dark. All right, let's check out the bubbles. Oh, wow, oh my God. That color is everything. I have never, ever had a ball in that color. Wow. Wow. I think that color picked up. Wow. And look at the bubbles. Oh, my God. Now, I didn't go back and order anything when she released her line. As a matter of fact, I'm just realizing I didn't even unbox my spell box for you guys. Um... So, and these bubbles are pink. They're very, very pink, um, which stands to reason because this is such a pigmented color. Um, so, I would, oh God, I would love another one of these. I would definitely go back and order a couple more of these, but it doesn't work like that with a spell box. So, um, yeah, this is a one-shot deal, but this scent is awesome. This color is awesome. So, um, yeah, this one is, is perfect. The one in the coffee cup is, I think I'm going to like that one too, but I'm going to go ahead and give away the November Moon one in my um, in my Halloween giveaway because I don't think that one is going to be one for me. But um, so somebody else is going to get one of the very rare Spellbox bath bombs. But um, yeah, these are some crazy bubbles. Okay, I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to turn the jets off and we'll take a closer look. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see this. I think you can. These bubbles are so pink. I think it's really cool when the bubbles are actually a color. It doesn't happen very often, even when there's a dark water color, just certain colors. And you know, it may be more with the reds because you know, when you do laundry and you wash something red, and everything turns pink. If there's a light color, especially white in there, maybe it's the same kind of concept. Okay, let's go down in here. Yep. Just past my elbow. Yep, these are awesome. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna be having a jetted bath today, but it looks like it's gonna be an awesome fall scented cinnamony bubble bath, which sounds awesome. I've got a cup of coffee. I need this. Okay, I'll let you know what, how it was when, I, um, when I'm when i done. Sorry, not with it today, you guys. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm done with my October moon bath, and it was so, so nice. Okay, so I realized once I got in there, it, it seemed like I was bathing in red wine. That's exactly the color it was, and it was really, really cool. It was really, really nice and moisturizing. Um, it's weird, though. The scent, it was so strong and cinnamony when um when i put it in and when i opened the wrapper but it wasn't as strong when i got in i was expecting more of like an effervescent spicy scent but it did seem to fade a little bit it's not quite on my skin like i thought it would be um either but anyway um this is the stone i got let's see if i can put it on light really good it's really pretty and of course i don't know what it is so y'all are gonna have to tell me what it is but it is very very pretty i'm sure it's a really cool one but anyway, um, I did go ahead and use a scrub and shave my legs in here, so that's why you don't see anything in the tub. But it seems like with witch baby balms, I always get some type of herbs, spices, some type of ingredients, whatever's in the balm, kind of like lingering down there in the bottom. It never makes a mess, but I always do have to rinse some little something down. But um, anyway, it was a really cool balm. I really enjoyed it. The color was amazing, and the scent was really nice too. So. Um, sorry, this is kind of an impromptu demo, but um, I think it was just a really, really pretty bomb, so I wanted to share it with you guys, and of course, this stone was really cool, too. So, um, anyway, hopefully, I'll be back up to par next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.